In this video, we're talking about sales decline, which is just another application of this exponential growth and decay function that we've been given here. In this particular problem, we've been told that a car company stops advertising for their new SUV. That they want to resume ads when sales of the new SUV hit 75% of their initial rate. So assuming that sales are 100% right now, when sales decline to 75% of the rate right now, that's when they want to start running the ads again. So if sales have declined to 95% of the initial rate after just one week, when should the company expect to start running their ads again? In other words, based on the trend after just one week and that we've gone down to 95%, when should they expect to hit 75% and therefore start running the ads again? So this problem is similar to continuously compounded interest or population growth because we're always just using this formula here, which is future value equals present value times E, the exponential function, raised to the RT. And if you have growth, population growth, or continuously compounded interest where an amount of money is growing, then you have a positive R. In this case, we have a declining rate, sales are declining, so we use negative R, and that's the only thing that we change about the formula. Future value and present value, they can represent anything. So they can be an amount of money, they can be a population, or in this case, sales. So we're gonna say present value is current sales, future value is sales after a certain amount of time, t, where time is given by this t variable right here. So we're interested in the point at which sales have declined to 75% of their initial rate. But before we do that, we're gonna have to find the decay constant, r, or the rate of decay. So the way that we're gonna find that is using the information in this second sentence here, which says if sales have declined to 95% after one week. So that means we could call present value of sales 100 because we're doing 100% at present. In the future, which is after one week, sales have gone down to 95%. So we'll say 95, we leave in the E there, the exponential function. We leave the negative R. T is gonna be one week. So we'll plug in one for T. Because we plugged in for everything but R, this is gonna allow us to find a value for R. So now we just need to simplify. So we'll get 95 over 100 when we divide both sides by 100 is equal to E negative R times one is just negative R. So we end up with E to the negative R. Now 95 over 100, we can simplify to 19 over 20. So we'll say 19 over 20 equals e to the negative r. And then what we wanna do is take the natural log of both sides to get this r by itself. So we'll say natural log of 19 over 20 is equal to the natural log of e to the negative r. And the reason that we do that is because whenever we take the natural log of the exponential function, we can cancel out the ln and the e and just be left with the exponent. So what we get now is natural log of 19 20ths is equal to negative r. And we want to find a value for r, so we just multiply both sides by negative 1, and we get r is equal to negative natural log of 19 over 20. Now that we have a value for r, we can plug that in for this r right here, and we can find the time t when the company should expect to reach 75% of initial sales. So here, we're gonna start with this formula again. We're gonna say that present value of sales is 100, that the future value we're interested in is 75, because we're interested in the point when sales hit 75% of their initial rate, 100%. So 75 is equal to 100, e to the negative r, so r now we have as negative natural log of 19 over 20, multiplied by t. And now you can see that we've plugged in for everything except t, so we should be able to solve for a value of t. So first of all, we have a negative and a negative here. Those are going to cancel and become a positive. So then we can divide both sides by 100 and get 75 over 100 is equal to e to the natural log of 19 over 20 multiplied by t. Now if we want to simplify both fractions, we can call 75 over 100 0 0.75. We can call 19 over 20 e to the natural log of 0 0.95 and then multiply by t. Now if we take the natural log of both sides again, we're going to get natural log of 0 0.75 is equal to natural log of e to the natural log of 0 0.95 multiplied by t. And we're gonna get then, of course, this natural log to cancel with the exponential function there. So we'll have natural log of 0 0.75 
equal to natural log of 0 0.95 multiplied by t. And to solve for t, we'll just divide both sides by ln of 0 0.95, so we'll get natural log of 0 0.75 divided by natural log of 0 0.95. And if we do this on our calculator, remember that t time was given to us in weeks. So we can say that time is about 5.61 weeks, which if we multiply 0.61 by 7 days, we could also call this is about 5 weeks and 4 days. And that's the amount of time it should take for sales to decline from their initial rate of 100% to 75%. So after about five weeks, four days, that's when the company should expect, based on the rate that sales have been declining while they haven't been running ads, that's when they should expect for sales to hit 75% of the initial rate, and therefore when they should expect to start running ads again. And that's how you apply this exponential growth and decay formula to a sales decline problem.